brings us to News Extra here on KNEB, and today brought to you by First State Bank. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Brandon Ritterbush is here. We're going to talk about the Scottsbluff County Fair Parade. Yes, That's not that correct. far away. <laughs> Hard to fathom. Just first week in August is about, what, two weeks away? Yep. Two and a half weeks away. So Brandon's going to tell us all about the parade. It uh, starts at 1030 a.m. on Saturday, August 2nd. So uh, what do people need to do in order to get ready for this parade? Well, uh, definitely have your floats ready. That's for one. Bring them down. You can register the day of the parade, or you can contact Shane Reinpold at 623-2766 or myself at 765-2722, and we can get you an early registration form sent to you right away. All right. You guys probably, uh, early registration is really what you'd like to see if possible, right? Er, yes. Early registration is, is very nice just because it gives us a little bit more time to be organized. It seems like um, every year um, we're just kind of scrambling at the last minute to get everybody lined up. And and get things situated um you know so it's it's just supposed to be a good time and we try to enjoy it and try to make it enjoyable for all the participants in the parade all right and you'd like to have more as many floats as you can i mean i know oregon trail days has floats you guys would like to see floats as well right? yeah mo yes most definitely oregon trail um it, it's it's a very long parade but i mean i I cannot believe the the number of great floats that that are in that parade, and and just bring them down, and put them in ours. You know, it's great advertisement for the company's civic organizations. All right, let's bring them down to Mitchell and do that. That'd be an easy thing to do. Your theme for this year is adventures on Oregon Trail. All right, so you kind of want to have a pioneer theme, right? A yeah. little bit, yeah. Right. Okay, and uh, when you when you do the entries, you say your entry numbers are provided the day of the parade during the check-in process, but uh, you kind of like to know what the what the entry is about and all that kind of stuff, so you can announce it during the parade. Yes, that is correct. We do have announcers that uh, in the middle of the parade route that will be announcing, talking about the business or the civic organization, and also as well as being judging. Um, we do request that everybody has to check in that morning. That way, we have an account for everybody, and everybody gets a number rather than just pulling down the street and, and parking along the side of the street in the parade route because with them we don't know who you are you can't be judged and we just we like to know who we have in our parade all right we'll tell you about where you need to check in and all that kind of stuff on the day of the parade right after this this is the time of year to reflect on last year's crop cycle and make plans for next year there are many decisions to be made and many options available we'd like to help make the financial side of your planning a little easier our ag lenders know agriculture and they're local stop by and see us let's talk about next year first state bank member fdic when you grow we grow Back on News Extra, Brandon Ritterbush is here to talk about the Scottsbluff County Fair Parade, 10.30 a.m., Saturday, August 2nd. They're already taking registrations for it. They'd like uh, uh, floats. They'd like bands. They'd like bands to be in the parade as well. And there's a number of ways you can uh, get registered early. You can just call Shane Reinpold at 623-2766. Or you can call Brandon here at 765-2722. All right. So uh, say you're checking in the day of the parade. Where do you where do you go? It's going to be on 12th Street and uh, Spring Creek Road. Um, previous years, we've used the, the parking lot there next to the blue building. We are now going to check in being right in the middle of 12th street off right off of spring creek just to help with the congestion all right so that's where you check in so make sure you uh, write that down and uh, the other thing you want to mention is there are roads blocked off in mitchell for a reason so don't mess with them right yes uh, every year it seems like we have people that want to drive down the streets tear down our tapes and the reason that we do that is for the safety of the floats, we have lots of children that are on these floats. We do start blocking off the streets quite early just because of the fact that we do have people that do come fairly early. And there's only just a few volunteers that are out there doing this. So it takes us a lot of time to get, get set up for this. All right. You mentioned you have judging. Uh, what type of uh, you judge floats? What do you, what do you judge? Um, I, I believe that they will be judging the floats um, and different things like that. I don't know the total aspects of, of the judging side. So. 
All right. But they will be judging some things, and uh, you would like to have as many bands as possible, right? Yes. Uh, this this is Scotts Bluff County. It's it's not just Mitchell. We we want everybody within Scotts Bluff County coming. If uh, if you band directors are listening, give us a call. Let's get you get you there and get you marching down the street. It's a great preparation for uh, um, your your band season coming up. Yeah, because they got to practice and so forth for football season and all that kind of stuff. Yep, and and uh, Old West weekend as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So uh, they'd like as many bands as possible. And uh, let's see, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, the, the fact that this is, do you have any idea how many years in a row you guys have done this? You know, I, I don't have a figure on that. Um, myself, I've been participating for eight or nine years in, yeah. in helping. So uh, yeah. I do want to mention that we will be having a dignitary breakfast that morning at 9 o'clock at the Mitchell City Hall. And that's being sponsored by Panhandle Co-op. The Main right. Street Market. So you'd like to have as many dignitaries as possible, especially from Scotts Bluff County and the surrounding area? Yes. Right? Okay, so all they have to do, again, is uh, call these numbers, 623-2766 or 765-2722. Get yourself ready to go for the Scotts Bluff County Fair Parade, 1030, Saturday, August 7th. August 2nd. 2nd, yeah. 2nd, I said 7th. 2nd. <laughs> Saturday, August 2nd. All right. Very All right. good. Yeah, if anybody has questions, just give us a call. We'll t- be there to help you out. So. All right. Very good. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it. Thank you.